What, what, what was it like working with Siggy? Great. Much, much, not much more I can say. I learned a lot from him, really enjoyed the conversations, and actually personally became a lot closer to him than I ever thought I would, but I'm glad that we did. For you, what was you know the reaction, the team's reaction? Have you spoken to any of the players about taking this team to the next step? Yeah, I think everyone knows the urgency of the situation. You know, you know we don't have the, the coach that started the season with us. We have uh, six games left. There's, you know, we still have a chance to make the playoffs. So, um, you know, they have to be professional about it and, and try and put uh, any emotions aside and just get back to, to working hard to, to, uh, to hopefully prepare well and win the game on Saturday. Um, you know, I always have this reputation of being a, a strict 4-4-2 manager, which was, you know, far from the truth in my last couple of years as, as, a, as a coach. So, um, you know, it all depends on the health of your squad, first and foremost, what you can put out there and what you cannot. So, you know, we have been battling injuries over the last couple weeks, as everyone should, should know, by, by the, the players missing from the field. Um, just, you know, the only thing I, I, I demand from the players, as any, as any coach does, is when you step across that line, you know, you're, you're focused, you are working hard to do one thing to help your team win the game. And that's it. I think sometimes when something like this happens, it's a, it's a definite wake-up call. Um, you know, people should feel sad. Some people may see it as an opportunity. Um, well, they, they all should that, you know, some, something's happening here. So uh, it could be somebody else's chance to, to get to play. So we'll see. So what so needs to be changed in the, on the field to get the results on the Well, I, I think first and foremost, we defensively, we've been giving it way too many chances, especially on the road. Um, that you know that goes with the fact of we've lost five goals in one game and six in another. So I think we have to hold ourselves responsible for our, our hard work off the ball, uh, especially when the ball turns over. So that's the first thing that we've addressed is you know we have to stop giving up as, as many chances as we do. So in order to win games, you can't be giving up the goals that we've been giving up and also the chances because it becomes a little bit too much of a pressure cooker for the team, and you defend way too much. And I think you have to be a little bit more solid defensively because going forward we do create chances. And is that a tactical thing or is it more a mental? I think it's both. You know. And tactics and mental go in the same way, you know, where you should be on the field and how, how fast can you get there and how fast can you pressure the ball. So for me, it's, it's, it's you know, the mental aspect does lead into the tactical. But from, from what I've seen, you know, mentally, I think it's, uh, yeah, we got to be a little, bit, a little more strong. Yeah, but you got to remember, this is the LA Galaxy, and it's one of the proudest, most successful franchises in MLS. So I think any time a guy pulls on the jersey, and don't get me wrong, up until a year ago, I was no fan of the Galaxy. You know, <laughs> I think everyone knows that. But coming here, I realized the importance of the club to the to the people who work here and to the fans. And I think any time you bring on, no matter who you play against, I think you should represent, represent the team very, very well.